And so I felt with that first draft, it was kind of on me to prove. Proof of concept, this is worth doing, yeah. yeah. Part of the early conversations were a subtle shift in genre. If Batman McGee's is a classic adventure, you know, we call it a comic book movie, but there's a lot of different comic books. Sure. It's an adventure film. It's, you know, it's him traveling around the world and finding himself and trying to figure out how does he respond to this, this terrible thing that's happened to him. What is he gonna become? Second film was a genre shift into a urban crime film. Right. And, and that to me was so exciting to take the same characters, the same actors, the same, the same story, but shift it now into something that was more in the mold of, and I remember clear as a bell, I didn't, I didn't see it with Chris, but we did see it um, the same year when, when Michael Mann's film Heat came out. And I went and saw it in McClurg Court in Chicago, opening weekend. And fully a third of the audience walked out. It was so loud, that gunfight in the middle of it was so loud. It made so, that movie made such an impression on me yeah. in terms of, and it's something, another thing that I recommended to Chris years later was The Wire. I'd watched the first season. He had not. I, it was one of those little brother sure. victories, right? Where it's like, you really should check us out. And he winds up very much in the same spirit as Heat. You had this fully naturalistic world. Right. And by the end, it's a Greek opera. And you don't quite, that's a bit of a magic trick with Michael Mann. And then again with... With, with, with The Wire, with David Simon, this, this ability to, every beat feels plausible and real, keenly observed and naturalistic, but by the end, you, you've seen a Greek opera. There's been this in, m invisible movement into something more operatic, more tragic. And so that feeling of, could we take the feeling of heat? Could you take the feeling of, uh, of, of something? And The Wire, I think, was running at the same time. So it was very much, sure. we hadn't gotten to Omar yet, but there was very much Omar in the back, you know, you sort of concurrently looking at that and feeling, could you bring that feeling into the Batman universe? Could you tell a story in that key? And that to me, you know, that, that early draft, for me it was a, a bit of a, a bit of a, this is what I think a Batman movie should be, right? I had no imagining at that stage, Chris was off working on The Prestige, I was sort of left by myself with this thing, <laughs> not really knowing how the third act should work. And, and to me, it was a bit of a, a, a challenge, a gauntlet. It was like, yeah. that's, that's what I think a Batman movie should be. Chris came back, and, and I think somewhere along the lines convinced himself that, okay, we're gonna take this gamble, we'll go back and do it one more time. And that's when the conversation started in earnest. To my great horror, they started making the movie, and almost nothing had been cut out of the script. It was pretty much exactly, you know, Chris had, Chris had taken a pass, as he always done, and added some beautiful ideas to it, and then we started talking together as we were closer to it about, okay, Ideas like the Joker's multiple, multiple uh, origins uh, and yeah, you know, backstory. Um, but but I was actually kind of terrified at some of the things that had been left in that script because they felt a little a little edgy for for what we knew had to be a PG thirteen Batman movie. And so it was one of those sort of be careful what you wish for moments. Nice. I remember calling down the first first day on set. I wasn't on set. And it was part of the reason I started doing television is I missed being on set. There's nothing for me to do. And no, no desire to be on set where there's no job for me right. to do on set. There's nothing worse than being on set and just standing around with nothing to do. We were calling Chris and calling Jordan, one of our friends and, and one of the producers on the movie, to say, I just want to know what he sounded like. I was like, what is he, what's he doing with that? Right? The character had been in my head for so long that you're, you're sort of going, okay, well, where, where are we going to take this? Um, yeah, an amazing experience. 